This video provides one way to answer the question, why is there a pyramid inside of the human body? According to the pyramid view of the human body, the human body behaves as if there is a pyramid inside of it, located as shown in this picture. A natural question to ask is, why does the human body behave as if there is a pyramid inside of it? According to Darwin's theory of evolution, human beings originally evolved from a single cell floating in the ocean. That single cell evolved into a fish, an amphibian, a reptile, an insect, a bird, a mammal, and finally into a human being. According to Happy Theory, the human body contains somewhere within itself one or more characteristics of all of the creatures on the path of evolution. That would mean that the human body should exhibit one or more of the characteristics of a fish. One characteristic that a fish and a human being share is a spine. A fish has a spine as demonstrated in this picture with ribs sticking out from either side and a head at one end of the spine. A human being also has a spine as highlighted in this picture with ribs sticking out to the side and a head at one end of the spine. If a human being evolved from a fish, it seems natural to compare the two creatures so that the spine of both creatures are oriented in the same direction. This picture shows the fish rotated so that the fish spine is vertical like the human spine. The head of the fish is also matched to the head of the human being when the spine of both creatures are oriented this way. The next picture shows an overhead angled view of a fish model that will be used for the next part of the demonstration. This picture shows a profile view of the fish model with a red box superimposed on it. The head of the fish is cut off at the location marked by the red box. Then the head of the fish is placed on the ground and the camera is moved to an overhead view looking down on the fish head. A fish has a curve shape as highlighted by the red outlines because it is a living creature. But if some tangent lines to the highest point of the curved top, bottom, and sides of the fish are drawn in, the lines form a rectangle. This picture shows a profile view of the fish head. The fish also has a curved shape from this viewpoint. But if some straight lines that mostly follow the boundaries of the top and bottom of the fish are drawn in the picture, then extended upwards until they intersect each other, the lines will meet to form the shape of a triangle. This picture shows an overhead angled view of the fish head. The outlines of the rectangle formed by the base of the fish head are drawn in first. Then the triangular shape formed by each side of the fish head is filled in. The result is a pyramidal shape. This picture compares an actual pyramid to the fish head. The rectangular outline of the bottom of the pyramid and the fish head are highlighted first. Then the triangular sides of the pyramid and the fish head are highlighted. According to Happy Theory, the previous demonstration justifies the claim that the head of a fish can be treated as if it has a pyramidal shape. This picture compared a fish skeleton to the human skeleton. If a fish head has a pyramidal shape and a human being evolved from a fish, then the human body should also have a pyramid shape in the head area. A pyramid has a rectangular base. This picture shows an overhead angle view of the human body. As can be seen in this picture, the area enclosed by the shoulders is approximately rectangular. The other characteristic of a pyramid is the four triangular sides rising up to meet at a point. This picture shows four triangles drawn in that are based on the rectangle formed by the shoulders and intersect each other at the top of the head. The resulting shape is a pyramid. According to Happy Theory, one reason to explain why the human body behaves as if there is a pyramid inside of it is because human beings evolve from fish and the head of a fish has an approximately pyramidal shape. The pyramidal shape of the head of a fish can be found in the shoulders and head of the human body. Extending the lines of the pyramid on the head from the shoulders down to the ground 
creates the pyramid view of the human body.